Joining us to talk more about the mix of martial arts and fitness is Ricardo Migliores. Ricardo holds a black belt in Gracie, Gracie Jiu Jitsu and is a three time Jiu, Jiu Jitsu, say that three times fast, <laughs> world champion. He's also the owner of fightersfitness.com. We're also joined by his brother, Phil Migliores, an expert in Jiu Jitsu as well and a master yoga instructor. He's also director and owner of Balance Studios in Philadelphia. So, Ricardo, why do you think that fitness? and fighting go hand in hand why is this such a big trend in fitness oh it's a well it's a necessity when you are training in Jiu Jitsu and uh, in especially any sport and uh, it's also a good thing even if you're not into a sport is to mix it up and liven it up a lot of people will go to the gym and they do the same thing the same routine of lifting and I get you know I've been going to the gym for s close to 16 years and I've been my own guinea pig since then till now so I know you have to mix it up and do not only lifting weights but body weights uh, also go into uh, like even with the bands or anything like that. So what about martial arts makes it such an integral part of, of a fitness workout for so many people? You get a lot out of it, it's not just the fitness. Oh, I have plenty, I have, we have schools up and down the East Coast and within those schools I say 95% of those people come in not to become a professional fighter and not to become a professional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, artist or competitor, but they come in, they want the body mm -hmm. like a mixed martial art fighter, they want the endurance like a mixed martial art fighter, the Explain balance. Explain to us what mixed martial arts includes. Mixed martial arts is, um, is basically what you see on the TV, it's become very popular, like the ultimate fighting, the sports fighting championships, uh, the pride fighting champions, championships, and that's basically where we started. And my brother and I actually uh, came up with the, with the fighter's fitness. Uh, first started um, training professional fighters and as we did that we noticed 95 percent of all our students that came down didn't have the will to become a professional fighter they didn't want to you know like I said before become a Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert so we gear towards teach them, teaching them the same way we would a professional fighter but on different levels that anybody can do it I have doctors, lawyers, uh, women, children of all ages. So, Phil, we're really looking at a wide variety of potential students for, mm -hmm. for this kind of exercise, but particularly for women who are trying to get in shape for the summer, what are some of the benefits that could get out of a mixed martial arts? Because we think of something like ultimate fighting as, yeah. as a man sport. Right. Well, we have classes that, that are a little bit different than the uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu classes and the mixed martial arts. So, my brother and I, we, we put together a program just for women, so it's a mixture of things that, that, are, that are doable. So instead of going and sparring a whole bunch of big giant guys, what we have, we have exercise designed for endurance and also um, self-defense oriented things. Instead of uh, exercises to engage in combat, the idea is to get away from somebody. So these are all uh, survival exercises to, to put in that way. Okay, now Summer's here. How quickly could we begin to see results from this type of workout? In four weeks. Four weeks. That's awesome. Okay, that, that's pretty impressive if yeah. we're trying to get in shape with a swimsuit. We only have three weeks, though. We only yeah. have three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's the timeline I gave you. We have to you. cut it down now. We can do it. You feel a little diet tip now? Now, this is becoming more and more popular, but is it really this combination of, of all of these different skills and, and the balance and the discipline that it takes that makes it so popular? Uh, I think, I mean, it's popular because of the, the, the ultimate fighting. Right. We've been doing it for close to 16 years now. 16 years, and no, but, nobody's known about it. But, like we were saying before, it's just something different to do. It's a reason to um, uh, switch it up a little bit, like I was saying before, with the lifting weights. People don't have the desire to get out, but if they're having fun and doing things, that's going to make them want to get out and do it more, because we don't even realize we're working out. So quickly, can yoga really help after a pregnancy? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I it's something you can things. actually do every single day. So you're, you can take it in steps, maybe starting out with a 10-minute routine and moving on up until, you know, 
hour and a half practice each day. And every new mom needs to de-stress a little bit. De-stress, relax. A lot. <laughs> well, we're going to check in with our web poll one last time. We've been asking, are you ready for swimsuit season? Yes, no, or never. 61% say yes. Good yeah. for you. That's a lot. That's yeah. great. I didn't expect that. Were they were at the Philly Fit Bash, Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all of our guests for being here tonight. Jamie Avenzeller, she's owner of Philly Fit and Jersey Fit Magazines. And Ricardo Migleries, he's owner of FightersFitness.com. And Phil Migleries is director and owner of Balance Studios. Sandy Weston is owner of Weston Fitness in Philadelphia. If you'd like to attend the next Philly Fit Bash, it's happening September 24th at Villano Villanova University in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. For more information, you can check out phillyfit.com or log on to cn8.tv to find the link. Remember, join us on Sunday night when Lynn speaks with best-selling author Gail Sheehy about her book, Sex and the Seasoned Woman, Pursuing the Passionate Life. Until then, I'm Jill Horner for It's Your Call.